Hey, you guys. In this video, I am going to be sitting on my bed and showing you some of the things that I purchased recently that I can, I've been wanting to show you guys and do a video of for some time. I'm going to start off with this um, Tupperware set. It's very simple from Ikea. So my bedroom is like right against the wall that has like an alleyway, like the street next to me. And it's fairly loud. I usually don't film in this room, but I kind of wanted to change up the atmosphere and I wanted to kind of sit and just show you everything like this. So you're going to hear some outside, outside sounds, but I'm, I'm just going to kind of leave most of them in unless they're super abrupt, because um, it's, it's kind of constant. <laughs> Tupperware set from Ikea and I got this um, on essentially the equivalent of like Black Friday, uh, not the exact day. In, in Egypt they have like a Black Friday that cut, like type experience that goes on for like four or five days and they do call it Black Friday. Some places here call it White Friday but it's like, uh, like I said, not just one day. So they had this sale at Ikea, and it was a really good price for all of these. They, um, not like great Tupperware, but I just needed some, and I didn't want to pay a ton for it. So I'm just gonna, I just grabbed some like really basic set. P R U T A. Two of these. 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 Etc. Three of these, four of these. So that's the first thing. Second thing is actually this um, comforter. So uh, it's a duvet cover, actually. It's really cool, at least, okay, for Egypt, it's quite cool here right now. And I needed to get a blanket that was more, like, warm. <laughs> the blanket that I have that came with the apartment, this was a furnished apartment when I got it. Um, it's just, like, it's quite thin, it's good for really warm weather, but I didn't have one for cold weather so I found this really pretty design I'll show you it's a duvet so it's got like the inner portion uh, that you kind of like stuff inside the cover actually got two of the inner inside blankets because you can like use one when it's hot weather and you can put a second one in when it's cold weather. I really like the design a lot. Okay, this next item. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this yet because I was looking for something like this but I really wanted it to be long sleeve. I actually, so I actually wore this um, when I filmed a video one day, just to kind of feel how it felt and, and wear it, see if, I, if I'd be, I don't know, if like I'd like it and wear it. And it's safe to film during a video because I can't really get it too dirty. I think I should put a towel over it, um, my lap just in case because there may have been some danger of getting dirty or something I was filming with. So I've kept it clean. I haven't taken the tag off. I just wore it at home that day when I filmed and I just kind of not sure about it because I really wanted a jumper with like uh, long sleeves 
because in Egypt I choose to wear long sleeves and long pants or skirt and it's just so easy if it's just one piece <laughs> just one jumper with like the long arms the long legs you just pop the whole thing on so that's what I was looking for but it's short sleeved and I just I liked the color and I thought it was really cute so I grabbed it and I, I might return it still I'm still deciding because I have to put the shirt underneath it in fact this shirt you see here I would probably put that underneath it but I just don't want to have to like layer too much especially if I want to wear this when it's warmer out you just don't want to have to layer because it's hot so the other thing I'm not sure about is the length there's like this style here probably in the US too now just like the really short pants that like go like to like here let's show this better here instead of like here <laughs> I like pants to go to here I don't like it's not like a capri it's like just to me it's like a super awkward like here and it's like really sorry it's really in style right now and I honestly I, I really don't like it I think it looks ridiculous <laughs> sorry to everyone because I think everyone's wearing this right now but like I really don't like it so I am not sure about this but it's it kind of works when I wear it with boots then it doesn't look the way that I don't like it to look essentially kind of changes the look so I might keep them it's a small from Old Navy and actually got another color too I'll show that to you in a moment turn this way I love these pants I also found them in Old Navy it's actually quite quiet right now when I first started filming the dogs were barking, people, motorcycles were going by. It's actually not too bad right now. I'm so glad. So, the pants look like this. I like that they are kind of this jogger style on the bottom. Kind of like a, what's this, like almost like a military type green color. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it has these two kind of faux pockets, fake pockets in the back, but um, I also wear them with my black boots. In fact, I was wearing these in the recent video that I put out that was like a day in the life, ASMR style, and a lot of people uh, actually said they really liked them, or well, the outfit I guess, the whole outfit I think I was wearing that day, but it included these. I'm trying to remember the price of these. I think they were probably, let's see, maybe around 27 ish dollars. And I did get these in another color as well, which I'll show you in a moment. This is from Ikea also, another um, deal that I got on quote unquote Black Friday, or that time period. I'm going to kind of slide them out of this. There's actually a fifth piece that came in this set, but I have, I got this like a while ago and I haven't used them yet, even though I needed them because I really wanted to film with them. Okay, I'm not taking them out. They do not slide out easily. I'll leave it in there, but um, there's like a simple spatula here, two, like a kind of a spoon, a ladle, and kind of like a spaghetti or noodle spoon. I think I'm gonna come out now. There it goes. Nope, it's got a tag. <laughs> Let's see if we can pop it out. Okay, I had to get both hands involved in that procedure. So, this is the spatula. 
uh, this apartment did not have anything but like maybe a ladle and maybe a knife. <laughs> so I've kind of been using like regular forks and spoons to like stir things and flip things when I'm cooking. So I grabbed these to make it easier while cooking. If you're interested in an IKEA um, walkthrough, I did several recently. So you can just look back in videos recently and you'll find one Christmas uh, kind of like IKEA walkthrough. It's, it's decorated for Christmas time. And then the other one actually has no music playing, which was really cool to get to film when there was no music playing in Ikea. Because usually there's always like lots of music in the background with my Ikea walkthroughs. Okay. Next is the black pair of these. So, same pants, same price, and just a different colour. I really liked how they fit, so I grabbed two of them. I have been looking for some looser pants because I have like, I love um, the jeans that I have, but they are kind of tight. Um, and like I, get, I, just, I, I just put it plain there, I get stared at a lot because of it, so I'm like, so I just was, it's, it's just different. The, the style of dress here is very different. So um, I stand out when I wear them in like a not so great way. Like I don't want to be stared at in that way. <laughs> um, so I was looking for some looser pants. I do love my jeans, I love my tight jeans, I think they're super cute, I still wear them, um, but I wanted to grab some, like these, let's grab that waistband, it sounds so good. really like this they're so comfortable that I could I like that like they don't wrinkle that's the best thing <laughs> and then we've got the second color of this guy here so it's kind of a how would I describe this green well let's just compare it to this <laughs> got a bit of a foresty color forest green color and this is kind of more teal um, a lighter green. I can't really think of the word to describe this colour, but it's it's showing up correct on camera so you can kind of see it. So let's see, what was the price here of these? Okay, so it's on sale. 769 Egyptian pounds, don't worry, not US dollars. <laughs> but this is equivalent to about, let's see, it's, I think it's quite expensive. It's almost probably forty-five, fifty dollars. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, about fifty dollars. So that's that's another reason I'm considering returning them. They're like quite expensive for me not like really wanting it to be short sleeve and the short pant or like the ankle cut thing. So I might return these, like I said. I'm still deciding because I really like the colours and I like the fit um, other than the uh, shorter legs. Yeah, so kind of expensive, but like if I could wear them constantly, I would do it for sure. For sure. But I'm going to go back to the mall I got these from. 
I'll see if I can find um, the not like a long sleeve jumper like this because that would be ideal for me. Again, this is an old navy. Old navy is not typically my style, but I do find that some some of the basics that you can find for pants and like this sort of thing that they, they do actually end up being my style so just the, just the pants <laughs> don't know why that is okay this is a simple uh, camisole it's black i got a white one too but i think i will return that one because i tried it on at home and it's like almost completely see-through and I the purpose of it was like to I have a lot of shirts that are like oh sh can I show you I'm gonna try this let's try this I'm here let's see if you can see me hello I have like this shirt that's like they're shorter like this I've got I've got like three four maybe five shirts that do this so I purchased these camisoles to kind of go underneath them because again, if I wore that in my area in Egypt, it'd just be like uh, like a parade going down the street. Like. <laughs> so um, yeah, I got this black one. Really nice quality. And I will try to return the white because it's defeating the purpose. The whole stomach is like see-through. Generates a cooling effect on contact with moisture or sweat. Soft and comfortable. Let's see. So in the US, this is a size 4. So you can see the different sizes here in Egypt and the different places. Straws called Splash. It's just a size again. Love the planet. Ah, uh, I'm guessing that hope as love. So it's, I'm guessing it says the same thing in Arabic, but I don't know for sure. Pure silver. Lots of tags on this guy. There's the price. It's £89, so it's actually eh, around $5 or so. Which, I mean, to me, I, I could get this a lot cheaper in the US, but clothes in Egypt are, are more expensive than in the US. The same exact item I feel you could get for cheaper. Clothes are a lot more expensive here, which is always surprising when you realise that the income for most families is much smaller than in the US so I don't know how people afford things it's just insane okay I've added something that I had forgotten that I got like previous to these things but it's new of these on the same day and then this I got maybe a few days before I was obviously looking for warmer clothes when I came to Egypt it was very warm weather and I only traveled with kind of warmer weather clothes so these are overalls by Paul and Bear made in Turkey a large because I wanted it to be large on me. You'll see these in an upcoming video, I'm sure, like on me. 
I'll try to show them to you on me. Like I wore them and you can see like the top of it in one video, but hopefully you can see. I, I wanted them like, I don't know, the style for me, I wanted them to be big and I wear them with the button rolled up and my boots. So it's kind of a thing, like it's, it's a style I was going for. So there's these three buttons here, three on this side, and then two at the top. Paul and Bear love your dungarees. I really like these, I've worn them multiple times already, very useful. Okay, next I've added this here, really small, but this is a pink eyeliner, kind of maroon pink colour and I love it. I got this in Egypt when I first came here like nine months back and when, I don't know why, but when my uh, eyeliner got to about halfway through here, I started getting like really like, almost like pink eye type symptoms from using it. It was really weird. I had to like figure out what was causing it. I thought it was the mascara, then I realized it was this. And so I did um, go and get a new one because I would love it. It just, I don't, I have no clue what happened there. Tattoo Liner by Maybelline Gel Pencil, as you can see. So I love this. I love pink eyeliner. It's not, like I said, it's kind of like a maroon pink. And then I do like a fairly bright pink eyeshadow just around the lids of my eyes and like a bit under the eye on the side. And I, I just, I kind of love it. Okay, the dogs are starting to bark again. We got a good amount of time without them barking. That was amazing. I'm glad I got to bring you into my room and just kind of set my bed with you. I liked this. I hope you did too. Thank you guys for everything. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. Bye for now.